Hi, art historians. Let's talk Renaissance. We are in Module 10, European Renaissance Part 2. This is the European Renaissance 2, 10.01, Southern Renaissance Art Part 1. We are looking at eight core works and two supplemental works. These works range in date from around 1401 to 1505, with all of them being created in Italy, mostly Florence for that matter. Our architectural sites include the Cathedral of Florence, uh, which is the dome by Brunelleschi. We also have smaller scale works like the Sacrifice in, of Isaac by Brunelleschi and Ghiberti. We have Donatello by David. Oh, wait. David by Donatello. There we go. We also have the Holy Trinity by Masaccio. We have the Annunciation by Angelico. Madonna and Child with Two Angels by Fra Filippo Lippi, one of my favorite names in art history. We also have the Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli and the Madonna of the Goldfinch by our classic Raphael. Now, our supplemental works include Virgin of the Rocks by Da Vinci as well as The, Temp the Tempest by Giorgione. So, these artists are the names that we know. These are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Everybody knows who all of these people are for the most part, especially our friend Raphael and Donatello and some other ones that you'll see in the next unit. So, of course, not only are they famous now, but they became major players in the art world within their own lifetimes as well. These are artists who actually are referenced by later Renaissance artists for being the sort of ones that set the stage for what we're looking at. And Renaissance is really a rebirth of art. So all of the artists are looking back to the classical era. They're looking at ancient Greece and ancient Rome to see what perfections they were able to achieve within the stuff that they were creating, particularly the human body. And this is a rebirth of that. There are records of high Renaissance artists like, Mon like Michelangelo, who also convey their admiration for some of these earlier Renaissance artists that we were talking about in this particular unit. One also major name to talk about is Brunelleschi. He is such an interesting character. There used to be a show on Netflix called Medici Masters of Florence, but it might have gotten taken off at this point. And it did have a moment that Brunelleschi shows up ready with an idea to design the dome of the Duomo. Now, I did have the opportunity to climb to the top of the Duomo, all 463 stairs, felt like nothing after Machu Picchu, and the views of Florence were astounding. If you ever get the chance to go, I highly recommend it. That was my favorite thing to do. The Duomo itself was the largest dome created at the time, and that's why we usually refer to it as Il Duomo, or the Dome, instead of the Cathedral of Florence, because of its fame. The way that Brunelleschi was able to make this dome so large was by doing a double-layered dome. So when you climb up the stairs, to get to that top point, you're actually climbing between two giant sets of retaining walls that keep up that outer edge of the dome totally okay and not crumbling down to the ground. It was the coolest. The Renaissance rules, Italy rules. I hope you enjoy learning about all of this artwork and it will touch base again with some of those more, even more major names that you probably recognize from the Renaissance. So I'll see you soon.